I think our most important impact is the way we have improved the livelihood of persons with disabilities, seeing how they came to Bombolulu and seeing where they are right now. They came with nothing, feeling very inferior and feeling like nobody, but they are now they are, they are, their esteem has been heightened. They are able to live like any other person, running their own families with the wages that they get here. They've met as spouses, they have children, they are able to take their children to school, able to take care of their household issues, just causing them to live like every other normal being. That even if they went back to the society, they are able to live in the community, be integrated and live a full life. Addressing the issue of environment has also quite been very interesting because we have seen a mindset changed because people, people would just throw things all over but because we have gone to different places and telling them please keep these cans for us, keep these bones for us, keep these bottle tops for us people have had a different uh, mentality regarding environment and in some places you can actually see that people have changed the way they used to throw their garbage we are still working at it, and as a result of that, we can see that we have actually produced very beautiful products, and we are able to show them back to the society that this is what these recycled items can do. Yeah, Bombolulu Workshops has given the woman an opportunity to prove that she can also lead and be a leader. Uh, when you empower a woman, you empower a whole family and you empower a society and you empower a nation. I think just by design, women have been created to think great and to think big, given the opportunity to do that. And Bombolulu has created that platform for the woman. We can see it in even Bombolulu here as a program and in the village where the people live, the way women have taken up positions of power, that they are even aspiring for political positions. We addressed the issue of education initially by bringing in adult education for our workers because we realized many of them had never seen a classroom and we didn't want when they start having children that the children go through the same cycle. And so what we did is we encouraged our workers to go through adult education. We brought in teachers here and then we thought we need to empower these people and encourage them to take their kids to school. So we built a nursery school, a kindergarten, and also offered subsidy towards the fees so that it's not an excuse. The government is since giving free primary education and so we're encouraging them to ensure that the kids go to school all the way to their highest levels. Music